What's up guys? Welcome back to Epic Outdoor Adventures. Another fly tying video for you. I've had some requests for some more fly tying videos. So here's another one of my favorites for the trout here in Western North Carolina. It's called the Green Weenie. Uh, the Green Weenie is my first... Um, the green weenie was the first fly that I caught my first trout on on a fly rod. That's the very first fly that it was I was successful with when I was a kid. And uh, Lefty Cray himself uh, taught me how to cast fly rod and helped me with my fly fishing when I was younger. I was blessed. And uh, he put me onto this fly when I was a young kid, and I've just slayed trout with it ever since, and I still use it today. Um, and in fact, I just caught a five pound brown trout on it a couple weeks ago. So this fly is a great fly, and it works for the stocked fish, and it works for wild fish as well. Um, it can be worked all year, uh, any conditions, any water conditions, it's a very versatile uh, fly and it's an, another unconventional fly um, and it's not necessarily considered a fly to some true fly fisherman. But if it catches fish, I'm going to use it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, alright, we're going to start out with an Aberdeen hook or a streamer hook. Uh, I'm not really sure what size this is. It might be a size uh, 10, maybe uh, 14. I'm not sure what this size is. Uh, but it's probably about mm, an inch and a quarter long. Straight shank. Um, we're going to use a bead for this. Uh, I'm not quite sure the size of this bead, but this is a little smaller than what I normally use. But we're using a gold bead here today. And um, we're just sliding it up to the eye of the hook. And we're going to seat our hook. I'm using the Griffin Spider um, rotary vise. I just got it uh, this past week. Um, and it was... It was like just under a hundred bucks, I think it was, for the vice. Um, I'm liking it so far. I'm not... I don't know how to use the rotary part. I'm old school tire. I, I started tying when I was a teenager back in the day. I was, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old. And uh, that's when I started tying. Um, I'm just getting back into it again here. So... All right, we started our thread. Uh, I'm using an olive color. It's just what I have on the bobbin. It doesn't really matter the color. You're not really going to see the thread. All right. I started it about in the middle. I worked my way to the back. Bead is on the front, free slipping. And I got my thread right about past where the hook stops down at the bottom here at the point. So I'm just stopping just... Just past that. Um, really easy material list today on this fly. Um, and we're going to cut off about three to four inch piece of small bodied Chanel yarn. Um, this comes in all colors. Um, you can find it at hobby stores or at your fly tying shop. Um, it's like three bucks You know probably for like 10 feet of it. You can get a ton of flies out of it. So all right We're gonna start back here in the back And I'm just going to do a loose wrap Hold on a second here. Let's get that bead back. Let's choke up my line here a little bit. All right I'm going to start back here in the back with a loose wrap, seat it down, do some turns to come back here to the back. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to create a little loop 
just like that and that size loop is whatever size that you like I usually like about a quarter of an inch long loop from the back of that hook um, right about there and then we're just going to tie that loose one at first to seat it so it doesn't spin around your hook and then we will wrap it in three or four times just to seat it all right make sure that's straight with the hook at the top all right now what we're going to do is we're going to take our olive line our thread should i say we're going to bring it on up to the front here behind this bead i like to throw some line up in that bead there to just stop it from moving like that. now we take this chanel and we just wrap it tight oops sorry hit the camera wrap it tightly touching each other oops dang it don't let it go no problem with holding stuff camera so close to it I'm trying not to hit the camera so all right we wrap it all the way up to the front boy I cut it close here second while I secure it okay right behind that bead head take this little tag end which is normally longer but I cut it really short clip it wrap this bead on there just keep hitting that camera sorry You can use a red line or something to give a hot spot behind that bead if you like. And whip finish it. I do three, one, two, and three. Little drop of super glue, head cement, and it is done. The green weenie. A very productive pattern. It will slay the heck out of fish. They love it for some reason. Uh, you can float it under a, a strike indicator, just a dead drift. You can swing it downstream. You can use it as a streamer. Um, very productive little fly and it only takes a minute or two to tie it. Very little um, materials and uh, it's just an easy beginner fly to fish and tie so i hope you like it the green weenie try to try it out next time you go out fishing for trout i guarantee you you're going to love this fly it's going to be a staple in your fly box like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to comment if you'd like to see another fly tie